Hello everyone, this is Kevin from Points Travel Tech. In my first video about the AirFlight Pro, I showed you how to connect non-Apple headphones and AirPods Pro with the AirFlight Pro. I got quite a few questions on how to switch between listening to your Apple devices and the AirFlight Pro, a valid inquiry which I want to address in this video. Additionally, I want to show you how to connect AirPods Max to the AirFly Pro as well. Please make sure to like and subscribe and help me get 1000 subs this year. Thanks. We'll get started right after the intro. We'll begin with pairing the AirPods Max to the AirFly Pro. As you can see, these headphones are already connected to my Apple devices and my iCloud account. Before you start with the pairing process with the AirFly, make sure to follow this important step. You need to turn off Bluetooth on all Apple devices nearby and place the AirPods Max in their infamous case. Make sure your AirFly is set to TX mode. To be on the safe side, reset the AirFly by holding the big button for 4 seconds to turn it on. and then holding the small button on the side for 4 seconds. After this, the LED on the AirFly will blink white and amber, indicating that it's in pairing mode. Now remove the case from your AirPods Max and hold down the button, not the digital crown, for 15 seconds. After some waiting, the AirFly Pro should be connected to your AirPods Max. Test it out with Bluetooth still disabled on all Apple devices. If this didn't work, check out my previous AirFly guide on how to pair Apple devices with the AirFly Pro. You'll find it by clicking in the link in the top right corner. Now, your AirPods are successfully paired with both the AirFly Pro and your Apple devices. How do you switch between them? The main thing to note here is that your AirPods remember how to connect with both devices, but they will always prefer to connect to your iPhone or your other Apple devices. So if you want to use your AirFly Pro, you need to turn off Bluetooth on your Apple devices that are close by. Once you've done that, if you turn on your AirFly by holding the big button for 5 seconds, it should automatically connect to your AirPods. If you want to switch back to your iPhone, turn off the AirFly Pro by holding the big button for 5 seconds Reactivate Bluetooth on your iPhone and if it doesn't connect automatically, head into Settings, Bluetooth and select the AirPods of your choice. I hope this helped. If so, please click that like button. Thank you so much for spending your valuable time to watch my video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Until then, happy travels and see you soon.